So this is Ernesto. Ernesto in this last few weeks has been growing to be one of my best friends in the city. He was there when I was sick this last few days. I am still a little bit sick. Thank you for asking Ernesto. I only have a little bit of cough. The head hurts a little bit, but all in all, I can say that I'm okay. I gotta go to work. See you later. High five. Let's get the vlog started. I'm about 10 minutes late for work. I don't really have any deadline today or anything that I have to do in a hurry. Pretty simple day, which brings me to the question that I get asked very often online. Fabio, what do you do as a job? Those who are from the same field as me, they kind of know, but those who don't know need a little bit more information. So I'm kind of like thinking a possible video that could be about what I do as a job. Although it's not really that difficult once you get the big picture. Did you see what a beautiful view? I get to see this every day when I go to work. Let's go to work. Really hungry. I'm taking the steps because every time that I don't it's like a couple of hundred steps that I forget to do on my Fitbit and it's been a week that Chris basically dominated the Fitbit game he does like 20,000 steps a day he never stops he's always moving am I blue? I'm a little blue am I? Why am I coughing? Have you ever seen grass in 3D? Work is done, we're going home. But first I wanna stop somewhere so I can show you something. Hold on, maybe the camera angle wasn't the best. You see that thing? That one is a building. Now buildings are designed by architects. The building itself is built by a contractor. Both the architect and the contractor are hired by people called developers that you know put the money into the creation of such buildings. How do you sell the idea to a potential investor if the building doesn't really exist? So, uh, I'm never in focus with this camera. How does this work? Usually what you have, you have an investor that has money that wants to make even more money. So this investor goes to an architect and asks for a building idea. The architect designs the building, but at the same time, investor needs to find a way to monetize before construction even starts. Basically what they do, the, the architect designs the building and then calls up a team of other architects or call them creative architects, which produce a set of computer generated images that will help then the investor to have a discussion with a potential client. And this is where we come in. Let me show you. just saw those are called renderings and they are computer generated images which are made only with the scope of selling the building to somebody so what you just saw god damn it this camera is let me get a little bit closer 
At the moment, I managed to get a job working in the field of marketing for the company that produces the software that then designers use to create those renderings. How did I get there? I'm not really sure. I worked as an artist, but I also worked a long time in the organization of this conference, which basically brings all the best artists from the same field into one place, which is Vienna, to actually discuss the present, the future, and the potentials of the industry. It's all in all very interesting, but yeah, that's what I do. The conference, on the other hand, is an activity that I've started in 2013, mainly because I could not find a job, and I thought it would have been a cool way to get into the field, start monetizing in a way, and at the same time building connections. The thing is that this conference has become so big in its own field that it has become basically a main occupation on its own. Anyway, let's go home. I'm a little bit sick. I gotta get some sleep. I mean, who would not like to live in there when they make it look so pretty, right? With very good images, you can actually approach customers which might fall in love with your design and really do want to live there. Does that make any sense? I don't know. I haven't prepared the script for this specific video, so I apologize if everything gets coming out. Okay, the bus is coming. Also, and I forget to mention this all the time, I am a teacher. Not a full-time teacher, but I do teach full-time. Meaning, I hold a course throughout the semester for both master and bachelor students. And basically, my job is to assist the students with their uh, CAD or computer-aided design skills. Everything which is related to, you know, graphical stuff like, you know, the projects that I showed you before, those beautiful renderings. I work with a software called Cinema 4D, Rhinoceros, Photoshop. We use a whole bunch of things together that, you know, allow us to produce that kind of stuff. Hey Ernesto, did you miss me? I missed you so much. Mm. Teaching is a very good way for me to test myself, test my skills, because the stuff that I need to teach I need to know really, really good in order to do so. I'm very committed to this. Like for instance, this year I'm going to take a break from teaching. I'm gonna go on a sabbatical, so to say, of teaching. And I'm going to go to workshops and different teaching activities where I'll be the student and not the teacher to kind of refresh my technical knowledge. Because that's how it works. I mean, you always have to if you work in a, a technological field, you, ca you gotta keep yourself up to date, otherwise you're dead. Anyway, this is just a little insight on who I am, what I do, what's my job. I really hope that I didn't bore you. You know, you asked for it, so that kind of levels it up. I'm still a little bit sick, I gotta edit the vlog. I'm just gonna go to bed. Good night. <laughs>